Everybody wants jobs. This is really about how best to get those jobs. Mid-Michigan is at odds on how to get the state back to work. Some say it's a proposed consumers energy coal-fired power plant in Bay County. Others say that would be a step back. The Department of Environmental Quality will eventually decide whether to grant the power company an air permit to allow construction of a 930 megawatt plant in Hampton Township. Tonight, the DEQ had a, one of many public hearings on that project. ABC 12's Kristen Abraham is just back from tonight's meeting. She's in the Tri-Cities newsroom now with more. Kristen? Hi, Angie. The DEQ can't be swayed by public opinion, but there was plenty of support for and against the proposed power plant. Gordon Bukowski of Kokolin has been laid off for more than a month. There isn't hardly any work east of the Mississippi River. The 28-year iron worker is ready to get back on the job. Constructing a new power plant would do just the trick. You need the work. You need to put some money into the economy. Can't think of a better way to do it than right here, just to do it. Hundreds showed up in support of the proposed power plant at Tuesday's DEQ public hearing. If we stand together, we can ensure that we do not pass up the opportunity for true progress. We invest in a coal plant that's going to take 50 years for us to phase out. That's going to cost ratepayers like me $2.4 billion, which is what they're talking about now. We'll actually limit our choices. Clean Energy Now and Environmental Coalition is urging the state to deny consumers energy an air permit. There needs to be a real look at energy efficiency and renewable energy and that those really are the way to go. They're better for the environment and they're better for the economy. Steam fitter Dan Leather of Bay City supports a balanced energy portfolio. He says right now, though, the region needs reliable power and job growth. As you look around, you see a lot of people who are ready to go to work. Public hearings continue tomorrow at noon, then again at 7. In the Tri-Cities Newsroom, Kristen Abraham, ABC 12 News.